Hello everyone and welcome back to Rundown. Of course today we are talking about the biggest show of the year, Summer Mania 18 and being the biggest show of the year, Summer Mania kicking us off with a pre-show where our first match would be Aaron Blaze taking on Division Nick, two guys who have been across the yard throughout the United States and they would kick us off with Aaron Blaze picking up the victory and this may not be the last we see of either two men in XCW so you have to stay tuned. Next up, we would see El Loco Rojo going one-on-one -on -one with ring announcer Trinity Parker in a very unique match. El Loco Rojo biting Trinity Parker. And then when Trinity Parker got the chance, she would transform into Mint Dragon to pick up a Summer Mania win over El Loco Rojo. And then in our Summer Mania pre-show main event, we would see former JWF champion Jacoby taking on a former tag team champion in SAT and Jacoby was in control throughout this match and in the end he would pick up another victory over a former slash current XCW superstar. But that is all we had for the pre-show and before we could get into anything on the main show, as it kicked off we did our traditional Star Spangled Banner which Brady Branson would interrupt still pondering the question of why he was not on the Summer Mania card. Well, we will talk about how he found his way on the card later on, but kicking us off would be the TLC match for the international champion between champion Hunter Hauken and challenger Brogan O'Shea. TLC tables, ladders, and chairs, and the tables would be brought in early on as Brogan O'Shea would send Hunter Hauken through a table from the top rope with a devastating spine buster. And chairs, well, Hunter Hauken delivered all of that with 15 brutal chair shots throughout the audience in the ring as he took Brogan O'Shea out. And then, of course, a ladder being introduced. Hunter Hauken using a missile drop kick to send Brogan O'Shea into a ladder and then making it game over for Brogan O'Shea as he jumped off the ladder, delivering the curb stomp to the back of the neck to Brogan O'Shea and then climbing the ladder and getting his second straight win at Summer Mania. We saw him defeat Fletch last year. This year he defeats Brogan O'Shea and remains on top of the game when it comes to the International Championship. Next up though, we would crown new Tag Team Championships after they were vacated a little over a month ago. And in the finals of our tournament, we would see Unholy taking on Cold Heart of Crazy, all four men familiar with each other after Shane Shaw brought DJ Wolver back to XCW. And this would turn into a handicap match pretty quickly, though, as Jesse Justice, after tagging J.J. Kelty, claimed he was done walking out on his partner, J.J. Kelty, or could it now be former partner? And the end of the numbers game would get to J.J. Kelty as Unholy would capture the tag team championships. Now, we'll have to see what is next for the champions and what is next between Jesse Justice and J.J. Kelty, as we've seen Justice kind of going through some changes ever since he took a skateboard to the head. Also next up we'd see another championship on the line. Patrick O'Reilly defending his hardcore championship against former hardliner team member Miano Diaz. Hardcore title means hardcore rules. These two men brought it with crutches, pipes, chairs, all that. But in the end it would be the O'Reilly factor onto a chair that would result in Patrick retaining his XCW Hardcore Championship and proving that maybe he was the better hardliner all along. Next up, we would see a number one contendership match to crown a number one contender to Patrick O'Reilly in the Hardcore Championship. We would see Onyx take on Jaden Tucker, and Jaden Tucker tried to use his strength advantage, but in the end, it would be Onyx taking the speed advantage to pick up the win. We now know Onyx is the number one contender to Patrick O'Reilly in that hardcore championship. So, it could be only a matter of time before Patrick O'Reilly has to once again defend that championship. Next up, after these two men with Jackson Law finding charges against Tommy the Man Merriman and Jackson Law just claiming that Tommy was a nobody, an awful father on the pre-show, we would see Tommy Merriman take on Law in a street fight. Street fight these two men brawl throughout the arena going into the crowd outside the ring. And even the finish would take place as Tommy Merriman delivered the kill switch onto the crowd area. And that would result in him picking up the win and 
potentially putting Jackson Law in his rearview mirror. Now, typically, we would cut to a commercial break, but we are actually going to cut to our XCW Extra, where Tommy Merriman is in action against Leon Lux. And when we come back, we'll have the man who went through a brutal Texas deathmatch, Blackheart, joining us. The following match is for the Evolution is all mine. I'll be the face of evolution. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen. We are in work to make white women come to our game like the game outside of the W on the end of the process scene. Leon Lux is definitely a force to be reckoned with. And tonight, he looks, uh, looks to take home a championship in the Evolution Pro Wrestling Championship held by none other than the man who's about to make his way to the ring now, Tommy the Man Marin. Evolution Heavyweight Championship here tonight against Leon Lux. And as you know, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been keeping up, these guys face each other at Destiny for Greatness when Tommy the Man Merriman would have to run the gauntlet created by Breakaway Brady Branson. And one of the men in part of that gauntlet was kind of like Leon Lux, but right there he holds up the Evolution Championship. And ladies and gentlemen, that is what this match is all about. The Evolution Heavyweight Championship is on the line here tonight on XCW Extra here on the rundown. As Festus checks both men and the bell has sounded. Here we go. Leon Lux, Tommy Merriman, one-on-one. -on -one. Once again here on XCW. And there's a nice tie-up between the two men. And Tommy... Obviously, he's got a strength advantage over Leon Lux, but Leon definitely got the speed advantage. So this is anyone's match, and I'm I'm interested to see who's going to be able to come out of this match on top. Nice go behind there by Tommy Merriman, hammer lock down, and Leon Lux reverses it into a headlock. Nice job there by Leon Lux as Tommy tries to get him towards the rope. He does. Irish whip off the rope. Leon Lux has it scouted, and Tommy Merriman immediately goes to the outside. And Tommy holding that leg, that uh, that repaired leg from being broken a few years back. Leon Lux with a huge suicide dive. Tobe Suicida through the middle rope to the outside as he taunts Tommy Merriman's children here in the front row. So pretty. And an elbow dropped down from Leon Lux Two. down on the back of the neck of Tommy Two. the Man Merriman. And Three. Leon Lux taunting the referee here. Leon rolls back in, breaks the count. Referee Festus starts to count all over again as Leon Lux goes back to work on Tommy the Man Merriman. Another brutal stomp by Leon Lux. Leon Tawny, the XCW Galaxy here. And where is Leon going? 
Leon looks right out here in front of our audience, right near the family of Tommy Norman and a huge crossbody from the stands from the unlocks to Tommy Merriman as the count continues. And Leon Lux is just playing games with Tommy Merriman right now. Leon is firmly in control of this matchup. Lux brings Tommy to his feet. Tommy breaks out of it. Sets him up for an Irish whip. Ducks the clothesline. And a huge spear! A huge spear by Tommy Merriman. About turn Leon Lux inside out. Could this be an F2 and a kick out from Lux? Wow. Unbelievable match between these two here. As Tommy questions referee Festus' three count. There's a roll up from Leon Lux. One, two, and a kick out from Tommy Merriman. Wasn't quite enough this time. Leon goes low, trips him up. He goes for the 619. Can he hit it? He gets it. A 619 from Leon Lux to Tommy Merriman. What has Leon got in mind here? Lux going up top. What is he setting him up for? Oh, Can he put Tommy the man Merriman away here? One, two, no! Tommy Merriman somehow kicks out. Leon can't believe it as he argues with referee Festus. Tommy Merriman attempts to get back to his feet. Merriman, oh no. Look, sidesteps Tommy Merriman. Ref Festus is down. And no, Lux has got that Evolution Championship. He can't win it this way. Oh. Leon Lux goes for the cover. There's no one home. Referee Festus was taken out by Tommy Merriman. And this is going to work against Leon Lux. He realizes that the referee is down now. Lux trying to get the referee up. Tommy is stirring. What a match. What an unbelievable match. Tommy Merriman now grabs his Evo Championship. What's he got in mind here? Is he going to stoop to Leon's level here? He throws it to Leon. He takes the big fall. The referee, referee Festus catches Leon with the belt, goes for the belt, and Tommy's going to win this by disqualification, and Leon's upset, and he's just bullying the referee, no way, Festus, oh, what just happened? Referee Festus just took out Leon Lux and raises Tommy Merriman's hand. What controversy here. A controversial win, but nonetheless, Tommy the Man Merriman is still the Evolution Heavyweight Champion. Here tonight on XCW Rundown. What an unbelievable match, but ladies and gentlemen, we've got to go back to the studio where Alex Cardena Thompson is standing by with Blackheart. Back from that XCW Extra where we saw Tommy Merriman and Leon Lux going one on one. Like I said, we'd have the man who went through a brutal Texas death match at Summer Mania. Blackheart joining us, and you know, you and Hayden Vex could have picked any stipulation for Summer Mania, but you went with the Texas death match. So, of all stipulations, why that one? Because uh, that's the one that I have the most personal history with. Um, 
and I, and I went through, I explained this on the, in a post on Facebook, but like Texas death match is a stipulation that I introduced originally to XAWA. Um, it's the one that I, I have the most personal connection with. Um, it's just a stipulation that I enjoyed watching when I, when I saw it on television and, uh, I'm actually personally glad that I got to bring that stipulation to XCW, especially at an event, the magnitude of a summer mania, um, with somebody like Hayden Vex. And, you know, you mentioned XAWA and all the history you have with Vex, and you would defeat Vex with Deacon Storm as the referee and then being joined by Ogre, Trinity Parker, Hayden Vex, Deacon Storm, all in your corner as you took place in what was your last match. So how did it feel having just everyone who's had a tie-in with your career being there for you? Um, the, the energy that I felt uh, at the end of that match was... Um, overwhelming to say the least uh that was one of the most emotional moments that i think i've ever experienced in a wrestling ring and to have the good fortune to be able to share that moment with the people that that i that helped me get to the dance with the, the people like the ogre the people like trinity the people like deacon who i would not be here if it weren't for them as well you know, and especially Hayden. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Hayden. Hayden and I, like, there are no, there is no one without the other in that in that scenario. So to be able to share that moment with those people and with the XCW Galaxy, absolutely overwhelmingly emotional, and I could not have asked for a better ending. Well, known you're going to be going to the commentary booth moving forward. So what is one thing you're looking forward to from now being out of the ring but still being involved with XCW as you join the table? I am super looking forward to working with JJ at the commentary table. Um, he, he's the voice of XCW for a reason, and it'll be a pleasure to work next to him and call the tremendous action. This has been by far an, an amazing year in terms of just in-ring work from all of our talent and to be able to actually sit behind the desk with JJ and be able to commentate on that and be able to talk about that, you have no idea how much I'm looking forward to it. All right, and we know you're retired, but is there any chance we ever see you wrestling again? <sighs> well... It's been, I've been wrestling for 21 years and my body is very broken down. Um, I, I'm actually doing this phone call laying in bed right now because I literally cannot move. My entire body is sore. Um, so it, it's not very likely, but of course, as they say in wrestling, never say never. All right, well, we appreciate you joining us and hope you know you can heal up to be ready for your commentary booth experience. In two weeks, we're going to have to cut to a commercial break, though, and when we come back, we have a bunch more matches to talk about, and we'll walk you through how Blackheart got as sore as he is today. I'm unstoppable. I'm a pusher. I'll smile, I know what it takes to fool this town I'll do it till the sun goes down And all through the night time Oh yeah, oh yeah I'll tell you what you wanna hear Leave my sunglasses on while I shed a tear It's never the right time
back from our final commercial break, and a thank you to Blackheart for joining us. But as we get back from commercial break, we would see a flaming tables match between Evan Phoenix and Brandon Hardcore Hobbs. Of course, Hobbs throwing a fireball in Evan's face, then beating down his brother Evan Phoenix was out for revenge. And at one point, Brandon Hobbs would take out the ref, leaving nobody able to officiate the contest until we would see Evan Phoenix's brother come out, put on that ref shirt. He had the ref shirt on, meaning he could officiate the match. That's exactly what he would do. And we would see Brandon Hobbs light the table and put tax on it, but it would be Evan Phoenix sending Brandon Hobbs through the flaming table and picking up the victory as he looks to put Brandon Hobbs in his rear view mirror. Next up, we would see Jay Ellis going one-on-one -on -one with James Cerebro as these two we've seen over the past couple of months going for the XCW Championship. Ellis has had his opportunities. Cerebro wondering why he never gets an opportunity, and that's what made these two men go one-on-one, -on -one. but it would be Jay Ellis picking up the win as maybe he looks to stay in contention for the XCW Championship. Next up, though, the New Age Championship was on the line as strength met strength in a matchup between Eric Mason and Julian Boyd Jacobs. These two men, similar in stature, did whatever they could to take the other down. At one point, Jacobs even delivering the FU on the outside to Mason where you could just hear the sound of Mason bouncing off the outside of the ring. Of course, though, Eric Mason would still pick up the win as he has been dominant as the New Age Champion and is slowly getting closer to a shot at the International Championship, which is currently held by one of his closest friends in Hunter Halkin. Next up, though, we would see a match that was 20 years in the making. Two legends in backyard wrestling. Fletch, Justin Parsley going one-on-one. -on -one. At one point, the girlfriend of Parsley, Mindy, trying to get involved. But the wife and owner of XCW, Emily Moore, would take her out with a spear. But that one slowed Justin Parsley down as he would pick up the win over Flex, proving that maybe Parsley's always been the bigger legend in XCW and Backyard Wrestling. After this, though, we would see Cycor coming out as he would announce that he was going to add Brady Branson to the main event after we saw Brady get the Money in the Bank briefcase. Of course, Venom took offense to this, saying that Cycor could be the special guest host of Summer Mania, but he's not the GM anymore. Announcing that Cycor would have a match first off against Mitchell Maverick, who Maverick went for the clothesline, but Cycor made easy work of that, taking Mitchell Maverick out in under a minute as he delivered the psych out. And of course, Venom, though, had one more opponent, Leon Lux, who we've seen more recently here in XCW. Same result, though, Cycor delivering a massive psych out to make it 2 0 at Summer Mania 18 and even add Brady Branson to the main event. Now, we talked to the man earlier that was in the Texas Deathmatch Blackheart as he took on lifelong friend and rival Hayden Vett. Texas Deathmatch, of course, you have to pin your opponent and then prevent them from answering a 10 count. And these two men took the Deathmatch to standard using stop signs, speed limit signs, crutches, whatever they could find in their arsenal. All of this, of course, with the special guest referee of Deacon Storm, who's very close to Blackheart and Hayden Vex. In the end, though, it would be Blackheart walking away victorious, and the emotions were shown after the matches. Blackheart was surrounded by Ogre, Trinity Parker, Deacon Storm, Fletch, Hayden Vex, all showing support for their lifelong friend, and now we will see Blackheart go into the commentary booth as he stays around XCW. Then, in our main event, the XCW Championship was on the line. Champion Corey Lee defending against Extreme King winner myself and the man who was added to the main event by Cycor, Breakaway Brady Branson. And this match had everything you could want in a Summer Mania main event, but the end might have been one of the most shocking moments as when it just looked like I was on my way to winning my first ever XCW Championship Chris Jones would make his return, connecting with a super kick as Brady Branson would crawl into the cover and become the new XCW champion. But it got only even more shocking as the reveal of Chris Jones and then Hayden Vex coming out and revealing that 
Hayden Vex, Brady Ransom, Chris Jones, all of part of what it looks like a newly formed EBW. And if you know XCW history, you know EBW was on the verge of taking over. They might be trying to do that again. We do know that. We will be hearing from Chris Jones, Hayden Vex, and, Bra and Brady Ransom in two weeks as we wonder why did Chris do what he did? And is there going to be more members added to EBW? You are going to have to wait and see. But what you're not going to have to wait for is our XCW Extra as we see Brady Branson going one-on-one -on -one with Jack Delta. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of XCW Extra here on The Rundown. And we have a special treat here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see there, Breakaway Brady Branson on his way to the ring and Brady Branson as of late has been on quite the rampage in regards to wanting to bleach all outside people from XCW. He wants to bleach out all other wrestling companies from having representatives come into XCW and tonight is no different ladies and gentlemen a man who we haven't got to see a whole lot of here in the xcw talking about destructive jack delta a man well traveled wrestled in well over 20 different companies all over the united states and he has finally made his appearance here in xcw and he's got one hell of a foe ahead of him in breakaway Brady Branson and there he is ladies and gentlemen Jack Delta and look at that he's even wearing a little bit of Brady Branson attire Brady Branson of old as he's wearing those red white and blue trunks to the ring similar that Brady used to wear to the ring and uh, there's Jack Delta hugging referee Festus as you know ladies and gentlemen these guys have a history they've can competed in CBW and uh, so they, they know each other from outside of XCW that should not play a factor however Festus XCW official through and through he's gonna call this down the middle and now we just wait for referee Festus to call for the bell and here we go the bell has sounded Brady Branson Jack Delta one-on-one -on -one for the very first time here on XCW Extra on the rundown. And there's a lockup to start this match. And Brady Branson obviously is going to outpower Jack Delta. And oh, huge chop across the chest of Jack Delta by Brady Branson. Firmly in control. And like I talked about at the beginning of the match here, Brady Branson wants to bleach out all the out come, outside comers to the XCW. And uh, he's going to do everything that he can to stop Destructive Jack Delta here tonight to make sure that he doesn't get a win over him. And Jack Delta firing back with hard right shots. Nice boot to the midsection and a huge uppercut. Knocks Brady Branson down. Delta now. For the first time in this match, in control with a chop of his own in the corner. And now Irish Whip to the corner. Reversal. Oh, my God. Delta ate all of that. Unbelievable. Referee goes two. No. Didn't even get to the two count there. And Jack Delta quickly kicking out. He is going to do everything that he can to ensure that Brady Branson does not defeat him. And the same goes for Brady. He doesn't want to take an L on his home turf against Jack Delta, who is now huge blows and a nice clothesline. He goes for the pin here. Two and a kick out from Brady Branson. Nice competitive match thus far here. Brady Branson smartly rolls to the outside to try to get some distance from Jack Delta. There's no way that Delta can pin Brady Branson from the outside of the rings. So Brady, using his surroundings to his advantage, rolls to the outside. And uh, the referee is counting out Brady Branson here. 
Jack Delta now going to the outside. It's a it's a foot chase here. Brady Branson gets in first, and oh, he cuts Delta off immediately, putting the boots to him. And Brady Branson, and oh, that may be all she wrote for Jack Delta here. Is Brady gonna put away Delta here, making it look like easy work? Is Brady Branson, but he's got to put Delta away. And instead, he goes for the camel clutch. A camel clutch down on Delta. Delta is in pain. You can hear him screaming. Oh! And he just snapped the finger there. Brady Branson giving himself a little bit of breathing room, a little bit of an opening to try to come back in this match as he first a gut punch, an elbow to the face, and a nice clothesline in the corner has Brady Branson grounded now. Delta back into the ring. What's he send him up for? Oh! A destructive clothesline to the corner by Jack Delta. Delta trying to pull Brady out away from the rope. Smart by Delta to attempt to get this pin, but it's not going to work out for him this time as Brady goes back to work on Jack Delta. Brady Branson now picking up Jack Delta. What does he have in mind for him here? He goes for the meet defeat. Delta reverses it. No, is he going to be able to hit him with the Delta driver? Is this it? One, two, three, and it is, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Delta has come to the XCW and defeated Breakaway Brady Branson in a huge match here tonight on XCW Rundown. Unbelievable match between these two men. And we're happy to see Jack Delta a part of XCW as he found a way tonight to put away Brady Branson. Thank you for joining us.